Hello and welcome to Crossword Joe. This is Sunday, March 25th, 2018. And I welcome you on this fine day, uh, whatever day this is for you. Um, and let's see, this was a yesterday's puzzle, Internal Compass by Fred. Of course, it's a Saturday, so um, we haven't had a, a non, a week. <laughs> We haven't had a non-Fred weekend. It's, it's always been Fred, Saturday and Sunday. But uh, this was yesterday's puzzle. Let's take a quick glance at the stats, just for people just to get up to date. I think this was 1439 yesterday, now it's 1440. It's uh, kind of settling in right about there, I guess. But uh, let's go to today's puzzle. First we go over here, make sure it's on expert. Then we click here and click out of sound effects, which uh, again mysteriously clicks itself back on every evening at some point. And go to today's puzzle, which is tag your it. Tag your it. Okay. And, and it is by Fred. Thank you, Fred. Fred Biscoff and edited by Fred Biscoff and published here uh, by uh, USA Today. And thank you. So. Tag, you're it. Let's see what that's all about. Let's go. Lost intensity. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to cheat down here. Waffle in the freezer freezer aisle is going to be an ego. Let go of my ego. Tupperware sound is a burp. Ebbed? I guess it would be ebbed. Okay. Take a day off, say. Okay. Uh, sulky puller's pace. Sulky Puller's Pace. Uh, trots Wheels informally is a trike, right? So I'm going to say a trot. Double Dealer's Quality. What does a double dealer have? Waffle. It's going to start with a G. Uh, and then a U. A referees or judges no-no. Huh, I wonder what that is. Bets? Uh, I'll just move on to the next across. Gravy Cravers brand. For some reason, being here, you know, where a vowel usually is, and what they've, we've had quite a few of these, but I'm gonna go with Alpo, just because it's four letters. It's kind of like a dog food kind of thing. Co-host of Seacrest, that'd be Ryan Seacrest. Who is Ryan Seacrest's co-host? Hmm. And if they do that, if they they uh, if it's like this, they're looking for the last name. Like it's like if it was co-host of Ryan, it would be the first name of whoever the host was. But since it's co-host of Seacrest, it's the last name. Sometimes they use first name, last name, or like a nickname or something uh, they tag their work this is obviously part of today's theme which is um, they tag their work okay well we know it starts with a G and if we're correct on the sound of Tupperware that will be a burp and then we're kind of lost so let's go on to this one <laughs> word after photo or black that'd be ops Photo Ops, Black Ops, Black Operations. Rope a Dope Boxer, Mohammed, Mohammed Ali, who floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. Absorb punishment as from Ali. Let's see. No, I don't know that. Words after many wrong turns, maybe. Uh, out of work, you're idle. So I'm going to say I'm lost because it's two words, or it's, it's, it's at least two words, it's words after, so it's, I'm gonna say, I'm lost. Therefore, don't know, uh, nomadic armies, um, uh, we can leave that. Audiophile setup once, that audiophile is somebody that's really into music or you know, just recorded sound recordings or whatever, and that, those, Back in the day, once it was high fives. That's right, high five stereos. 
a river through Kazakhstan. Don't know. Adapt for new uses. It's probably re something. Adapt for new uses. Almost invariably, it starts with re. I'm not sure what's after that. Red or dead. I'm gonna say Red Sea or the Dead Sea. They tag people in posts. Well, they tag people in posts. Uh, Facebook friends. Could could that fit in? Let, let's just. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going for it. Face. Book. Uh, whoops. Friends. Hey, it fits. Victim of a carnivorous plant. That would be a fly. Like a Venus flytrap. Range with llamas. That's going to be in South America. I'm going to say that's the Andes. Kind of sausage. Uh, a street lining trees down here is going to be elms. So I'm gonna say starts with uh, I'm gonna say Link, Link sausage, step dancer song. What is a step dancer's song? Hmm. Grasslands of South America. That, that's very similar to this answer right here. They may, if they squinted their eyes a little bit, they may have combined those two. I believe. Grasslands, that's going to be like Pampa, right? Or say, say pom, Pampas. They have good steak. Uh, I hear. Presumably. Allegedly. <laughs> Cat like carnivore. Uh, tiger, let's see, cruise quarters. It's going to be a cabin. What's a cat like carnivore? Cat like carnivore. So it's not really a cat it's cat like it's interesting march extravaganza with the the starts with the buckaroo show is rodeo the oscars isn't that in march that's a march extravaganza right oscars that's right many and he's sappy in character. He was really into fables and he loved to use animals. Animal, that's right. Uh, sniper's access is gonna be aim. It'd be nice, you know, if you're a sniper to know, you know, that, that you can aim decently. Uh, sound at a petting zoo. That could be moo, uh, arf. Um, let's see. They tag their opponents sometimes. They tag their opponents sometimes. Okay, privy to. I'm gonna say in on, you're in on something. Hey, are you in on this? Yeah, I'm in on it. I'm, uh, I'm privy, yeah, yeah, I'm privy. Job for a seamster, seamster. Okay, these are gonna be start, start with T because it's gonna be lats going down on 54 down right there. Back muscles and bone. Job for a seamster. Don't know. Judy, who played Elizabeth I, isn't it Judy Dench? How do you spell that? It's like that. Social Goofball, it's gonna start with an N for cabin. If we're right on cabin, it's gotta start with N. Nerd, maybe? Uh, designated drivers quaff. What do they drink? What does a designated driver drink? And it's gonna start with an S. I'm gonna say soda, a, like a soda pop. <laughs> like a taxi cab. Squirming in one seat. I'm gonna say ant C. Ant C. Ant C. Right? Is that how you spell it? Ant C. Yep. Okay, let's go down. Waffle in the freezer section. We got that as ego. Uh, Tupperware sound is a boop. A referee's or judge's no no. Bias. Bias. I was, I was thinking that this is plural. But it's a no, no, it's bias. There you go. That's right. You can't show any bias at all. Even a referee's mother 
cannot wear the uh, an, a uniform or you know support a a team in a league that the referee uh, referees at in. Isn't that interesting? So um, it's to that extent that they cannot have any bias. Ernest J. Keebler is an elf. He lives in a hollow log or a hollow tree. Uh, do a hatchet job on um, defame. Defame. Hatchet. Sine or cosine is a ratio. It is a ratio. It looks at the ratio between lines of a triangle, I believe. <laughs> It's been a while. A son of Archie Manning. That'd be Eli. The other one uh, being Papa John, right? No, uh, the, 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 uh, Peyton. Peyton Manning. Exactly. Place to luxuriate. Luxuriate. Uh, you do that at a spa. You get taken care of at a spa. That's right. Let's see. Basis for a civil suit is a tort. So that is Alpo, apparently, and this is rest. Let's see, take a day off rest, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna take a day off. Tots wheels, informally, we had this. Trike, like a tricycle. Out of the sack, that means you have risen. And blank disc, spot on the retina, I'm gonna say optic. Optic, that's like dealing you know, with the eyes. And take a free sample of is would be taste. And just looking up here, oh, this is that was it Kelly? Kelly Ripa is now a co-host with on what? On what show? Don't know. It wasn't she with uh, you know that, that, that who's got a millionaire guy? See, that's that's the extent of my popular culture knowledge. Sorry. Reformers targets ills. And island home to uh, this, this dude, everybody knows Guan, Guan, Guan Jean. Well, it looks like uh, they tagged their work graffiti artist. I bet you it starts with a T going down. And um, absorb, let's see, no. Yeah, let's absorb punishment, take it. You're absorbing punishment, take it. Therefore, hence, I bet it's uh, Tahini. Or no, not Tahini. Tahiti. What is that letter? Anyway, let's go on. Out of work, you're idle. Israeli money. Uh, I don't know. Petty quarrels or tiffs. Getting a tiff. A fit of pique. Is that how you say it? Pique? <laughs> Don't know that, but uh, let's see. Like the uh, Sapton vaccine, that was that was oral. That was an oral vaccine, and uh, containing double. Uh, 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 in, I know I, I know this word. Intendries, intendries. That's gonna be racy. Sorry, I couldn't get that word out. Trees with needles is gonna be a fur. And a buckaroo show is a rodeo. Uh, salon sound is a snip, yes. Um, Edna Turnblad, Edna Turnblad, sounds good to me. Looks like I'm smart. Responds in jeopardy, you ask, you ask a question is your, your response. Tipler's debt is a, Tipler is somebody that's at a bar, a bar tab, I'm gonna say. A bar tab. Let's see, latish uh, lunchtime is 1, like 1 p.m. Normally, normally lunch is around noon. Street lining trees or elms, yes. And a milker's need, it looks like it's going to be a pail, like what Jack and Jill had. Ill-fated force of 1588, everybody knows that as the Armada. All right? Armada. And if you spot me five out of six, there's a pretty good chance I might get it. Cruise quarters, cabin. There we go. Totally pointless is. Is it uh, inane? Another another word that I've. Oh, 
don't think I've ever used outside of the crossword world. Part of a, of a golf cap is a visor. All right, and touch up uh, and mend. Meet John Doe director, Frank, Frank Capra. Also does a wonderful life. Back muscles, lats. Well, I bet you this is baseball players, right? Let's just go ahead and fill that in, shall we? Baseball players. Here we go. Sometimes I like to cheat like that, okay? Like a boom boomerang is bent. The compass doodles are, when you use a compass, you know, you make arcs, right? It's like part of a circle. And unhealthy looking, ashy. You look ashy, so that ba would be a sound at a petting zoo. That is, I totally agree with that. A uh, zodiac beast is Leo, Leo the lion. And a young kilty is a lad from Scotland. Okay, now we're just gonna, we're not doing too bad here. Let's see, um, again, you're spotting me five out of six, and nomadic armies are gonna be hordes. And a river through here, this is not gonna be it. It's gonna be A for racy. Um, uh, a fit of P, I'm gonna say that's a huff. Huff. And adapt for new uses, refit. So it's, it, is, it is a T for that. And down here, a step dancer song is probably the Virginia Reel, and that's it. Yes, oh, just a little over 15 minutes. Not too bad for a Sunday. Yeah, we got that last one, the Virginia Reel. I guess that's a step dancer song. Yeah, a step dancer song. And this apparently is Israeli money. A shekels. Shekels? She shekels. Okay, I've never uh, had to deal with the uh, Israeli shekels before, but uh, now, now I know what it is. Okay, let's look at today's uh, theme. Once again, tag, you're it. Fred Biscoff. Okay, right off the bat, we have uh, graffiti artists. They tag their work. They tag their work. Graffiti artists tag their work. Then we go down here to the, another long one. These are all like, what, 15 letters long. You know, each one of these. It looks like there's three of them. They tag people in posts. We got that one right off the bat. Facebook friends. Yay. And then this last one is baseball players. They tag their opponents sometimes. Baseball players. That's right. Baseball season's coming up, folks. Coming up. That's right. Get excited. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, um, uh, Fred Biscop, thank you for making this and, and editing it today. And a uh, uh, special thank you to US Today for continuously publishing these, uh, these great pu puzzles. So hope you had fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And thank you.